went to Moab. You guys went to Moab, what, for a week and a half? Mm, seven days. Seven days. And we showed up at Wilderton for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the Jeep did great, didn't have any problems. Uh, her husband, Eddie, busted the driver's side rear, no, bent the driver's side rear axle shaft flange, so they had to replace it in Moab. And then we took some people from Seattle out wheeling our area, and we were doing Doc's Beach Trail, and on a crazy obstacle called uh, No Mercy, coming down the backside, super sketchy, uh, Cassie had taken a kind of a crazy line to where one of her rear tires was coming way off the ground. So we were having her back up a little bit and uh, it was weird. Wasn't a lot of bind, wasn't a lot of pressure. At least I didn't think so. It might have been moved to another trip somewhere. But anyway, the O axle checked out, decided it was going to go on vacation. So we went ahead and ordered everything to do. Uh, full chrome ollies. So she's going chromies in the front, chromies in the rear, and then Eddie will just hold on to these factory axle shafts. And they've, they're on Dana 44s, it's a Rubicon. Um, they got, I mean, they've got a small lift, they're running 35s. Nothing super crazy, they don't wheel super hard, but uh, you know, things happen. And then we're gonna replace that. And, and Cassie's gonna not break these ones. I'll do my best. <laughs> so, no. So we're just gonna. Cassie wanted to learn how this shit works, mm -hmm. so she asked if she could be here to watch and make sure I wouldn't charge her more for watching. I'll breathe down his neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, get it put back together. Should be fine. On to the next issue that comes up in the future. I don't think she'll have too much of an issue. I really don't. Not not with the way, you know, they're very, very, they love wheeling hard, but they're very cautious, they pay attention. She pays good attention, you know. So I don't, I don't think that they're gonna have any further issues for a long time, axle-wise, or even uh, drive shafts. <clears throat> I think she'll be fine. Until we put a bigger lift and bigger tires. I'm in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm sure she'll break more shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, how are you Lift probably after rally. So, remember when I said that like, those are special order. If you I know they're just, special order, and I was really just fucking kidding around, you know? All he ever does is talk shit. He was doing a burnout. And, uh, grenaded the rear end. So, we're gonna pull the Ford 9 inch out. Find that what broke. Maybe do a couple upgrades. Maybe put a spool on it. Maybe run the gears a little lower. It's a Model A with the 351 Ford in it. So, I was thumbing Facebook Marketplace because I mean, what, what other things do men do while they're at home? And I found this gym of a 1989 Jeep Cherokee XJ. I don't even know where to begin. So, what I will tell you is the longer you look, the more it hurts. I have a list here of all the things that it is. The motor is a 4.0 out of a 98 WJ. The trans is an AX15 out of a 91 XJ. The transfer case came out of a 92 XJ. It's a 231. The front end is out of an 08 F350. And the rear is out of a 99 F250. It's a... Uh, it's a, it's a Sterling 10.5. So now, I want to I read you the listing, if I can find it. 
Uh, okay, the listing. It's an 87 Jeep XJ. It has Dana 60s front and rear, locked with 455 gears. Full hydro, custom drive shafts, custom four link, coil spring front and rear. Oh, sorry, dual rate coil spring front and rear. Full roll cage, H1 bead locks, and 39 inch super swampers. Okay. I know the motor and the drivetrain's all right with the years because, well, I looked at the serial numbers, figured everything out. That way I know. So, if I know this is such a piece of shit, why would I buy it? Well, I want to take this running gear and drivetrain out of this clapped out piece of shit and I want to put it in a tube chassis buggy. So, first off, an 08 and a 99 do not have the same lug pattern. The front's an 8 by 170 millimeter. This is 8 by 6.5 standard. So it's got wheel adapters on the front, so the front end's way wider than the rear end. Um, I'm almost willing to bet anybody any amount of money that these are TJ 2.5 rough country coils all the way around. His custom four link is square tubing now, i'm not talking too much trash but uh if you could actually put your hands on this thing you would see that it's uh beyond beat to shit he's tried to gust the frame with what looks like sheet metal the cheapest welder you could possibly get your hands on a flux core from what i could tell there's probably quite a few people that's had their hands on this thing there there's some things that are it's well done and there are some things that is like what the hell are they thinking so everywhere that the suspension is mounted to the frame it is just I mean this legitimately is fat it has a half inch weld that, that's holding this to the frame so the front and rear bumpers are aftermarket I don't know whose they are what company it says O R F. Anyway, nice set of bumpers, heavy duty, great. The roll cage that's in here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I would be absolutely scared to death to roll this thing. It's not finished welding. They welded it in here, so anywhere that they couldn't reach the stinger, it's not here. It's not welded together. Battery's just floating around in here. I mean. This thing is beyond clapped out. This, this thing's been road hard and put away wet more times than I care to talk about. Oh, underneath. Oh my goodness. We'll get this thing on the lift at some point. I'll show everybody. Uh, underneath, on the the cross member, there's no rubber bushing. There's no nothing. He's made his own. It's just angle iron bolted together. Um, the cross member, because it has no give is starting to rip the frame where they've not bolted it welded it so i mean i don't know how you pull the t-case without having a plasma cutter but uh, it does run it does drive um i can tell you right now there's no way in hell that this thing has 455 gears i'm willing to bet anybody that's just got the factory 410s these are not 39 inch tires these are 38 inch tires that are I think the DOT date was like 2004. So, I mean, they'll last in the rocks all about 10 minutes. But like I said, some things were done well. The rock sliders were, were done very well. Well, the frame, um, the Himes that he's used to build the four link. I don't know what they are or where he stole them from. But I mean, they are, I've never seen Himes that heavy. So I will be robbing those for the buggy project. But I'm sure as hell not running square tubing. Um, my plan for it for now, I just want to give it a little better spray paint job. I don't know what, something. Um, fix a few things that's messed up on it. Enjoy it for the summer as a spare rig. And then this winter, I'll pull it apart. Um, probably looking at a 801 Fab 
tube chassis and then I love the 4.0. I, I don't think that there's an engine out there that's more reliable whether it's on the side, roof, back. It'll just run forever, cheap to rebuild, cheap to maintain, um, doesn't take a lot to keep it running. So I, I, I'm definitely going with that drivetrain. The AX15 can go in the garbage, the 231 can go in the garbage. I don't know what trans I'll run, but I'll figure out something. Uh, oh, it came with full hydro. So you're thinking that it was it was cobbled together. So believe it or not, it's actually got PSE full hydro, which you know it's a great kit. Um, the gentleman leans up against it because he asked me if I know anything about rock crawlers. And I said, oh, just a little bit. I didn't want to waste my time. I wanted to get my ass there and get, get my butt back home. Anyway, uh, so I show him a video of my CJ. And he's like, oh, man. What do you think you got in that thing? A hundred grand? I can tell you right now, I am I'm well below 20 grand in my CJ. And he leans up against this old bad boy and he says, man, I'm... I'm at least 50 G's into this build, so you're getting you're getting the smoking deal. Um, this is not 50 grand. Nowhere near. Not even. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna rob the full hydro. Oh, so I asked the gentleman. I said, so do you want to do you want to look through the toolboxes? Do you want to look through the Jeep at all to make sure you have everything out that's yours? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, no big deal whatever's there you can have so anyway pop open the back you guys there is not one but two ps e full hydro pumps pulleys and all there's a brand new orbital valve that's just fine um there's a whole bunch of hydraulic hoses so other than ordering a ram i have everything i need to rear steer this when i do a buggy with another Dana 60 out of like an 08 Ford F350. So that's super cool. Um, so what I what I'm what I'm into it, what we give for it, what our plans are for it. When it comes to building the rig, it's way easier to find some hacked up backwoods wannabe bullshit mechanic build like this. Um, and they're not all that way. A lot of people do a lot of good work, but some people just should never touch tools and wrenches. But getting this as cheap as I did, um, it's got the full hydro, it's got the motor, um, it's got the front end, it's got everything that, that really matters to me, uh, you know, this motor. So I, anyway, I got paperwork with the motor. Um, it was brand new in 2016, another Jeep that was T-boned, yada, yada, yada. He put the motor in here. Um, so it's not got I'm sure the miles that it has on it's not very good But we all know the 4.0 as long as she's got oil in it You can knock the shit out of it. It'll just keep moving. So Like I said, we'll, we'll piece it back together I mean, he's got some funky stuff Everything's held on by scabbed together welds You know, I, I absolutely hate when people use chain as a limiting strap it sets crooked, it sets cockeyed, it don't set square, and uh, it's got all kinds of different things that's going on with it. So we'll see, we'll see how it wheels, we'll see how it does. Maybe we'll go beat the living shit out of it somewhere just to see what it'll survive on. But like I said, it does run, it does drive. The four wheel drive works, everything. Other than certain people shouldn't have touched it, I think. The original builder definitely shouldn't quit his day job but uh, the other people that's had it throughout the time I'm imagining who's put the other things on that's done a little better um, he claimed to be the original builder I mean I would never want to claim that because if you look over here I mean, it's it's just it's just it's just scabbed. Like I said, the more the more you look, the harder it hurts your brain. I mean, it's only welded on right here. There's no bolt through here through the fender. There's 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 nothing else taking the stress 
of that coil spring other than it just tacked here and just setting here um, but I mean if you look at it you can tell it's been beat down about every trail known to man and I asked the guy where he had taken it to and he said five miles the only place it's ever been so I don't know I don't know anything about the stickers that's on it or the other people who's built it or anything along that lines and in fact yeah I don't know it's just cobbled together so you know it's like anything else you turn the key on got a press button start you know it's just got oh we crawled underneath it when we got it back and the damn 231 transfer case has, I don't know, six cracks in it. And it's all JB welded up and leaking fluid everywhere all over the shop. So a little bit of a rattle can. There's a bunch of cracked welds and stuff that at least needs to be addressed so you're not doing this shit on the trail. But my biggest worry about wheeling this thing and getting two buck wild with it is is honest to god it's 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 this cage man like it's just not and they they it's way too low i mean you run over a marble you about whack your head on the cage like it's not it's not comfortable i absolutely hate it when they have this stupid ass intrusion bar there's no reason you can't run it down lower anyway tomatoes tomatoes different strokes for different folks but we'll put a little bit of time in it when i say a little bit of time maybe maybe a weekend and then take it out run it do something crazy or i don't know maybe they'll have a mud bog event or a tough truck event and we'll go jump the hell out of it or something i think the parts i need will stay together and the parts i don't need will just check out so and then this winter we'll just strip it <laughs> 